Hello and welcome to today's Ed Puzzle lesson. So we're going to be doing a little bit of review over everything that we've done so far in this Appendix 6 lesson. And then we're going to go over the new material that we learned. And remember our new material that we've been working on that we took notes and stuff on today are talking about perpendicular lines. Okay, so remember there's two things that happen in perpendicular slopes. So if the slope of one line, let's just say is one half x plus six, what is the slope of this line? Okay, the slope of this blue line is a positive one half. So a perpendicular line's slope is going to be two things. One, we have to take the opposite sign. Okay, so if this one is positive, our new one needs to be negative. So we know it's going to be negative something over something. And then the second thing we do is flip the number. Okay, so if this is 1 over 2, flip it. The 2 is on the bottom, so let's put the 2 on the top. The 1 is on the top, put the 1 on the bottom. And now we're just going to simplify. What is negative 2 divided by 1? And we get a negative 2. So a perpendicular slope is going to be a negative 2. Okay, so if we have the slope is 1 third x minus 7, what is the perpendicular slope of a line? What would be perpendicular slope? All right, so we're going to flip it. So it would become 3 over 1, which is just 3. And if this thing's positive, we'd need a negative. All right, so here's a little bit of a review. Okay, I asked this question before. Parallel lines have the what slope? And it's same. Okay, now we're going to practice writing an equation of a line parallel through the point. So we're going to start in point slope form. So we've got y, and because this right here is a 3, we write minus 3. And then this next blank goes slope. So where are we going to find our slope? Our slope comes from the equation, and this slope is a 6. And remember, parallel lines have the same slope. So I'm going to put the number 6 in here. All right, finishing off this point slope, I'm going to do x. And now what do we have here for our x value? Our x value is a 1. So I'm going to write minus 1. All right, now they want this thing in slope intercept form. Okay, so that means the next thing I'm going to do is distribute. Okay, this portion of your test is going to be done on a piece of paper, and then you're going to have to hand it in. So y minus 3 equals 6x, and 6 times negative 1 is a negative 6. All right, the next thing we do is either add or subtract, depending on whatever number this is by y. And because this is a negative 3, we're going to add 3. Make sure you put under its like term, so we put it under the 6, not the 6x. So these are going to cancel out, so we have y equals 6x, and negative 6 plus 3 is a negative 3. So in this final equation, this equation, this blue equation, is parallel to the one given because they have the same slope. But what's different? What are these two things called? Those two things are called the y-intercept, and the y-intercepts are different. That's what makes them parallel. All right, find the x and y-intercepts, and then graph. Find the x-intercept and the y-intercept. All right, so remember, whenever you're looking for the x-intercept, the y value is 0. So if you take 2 times 0, this just cancels out, and you're left with 4x equals a negative 16. And we can divide both sides by 4. So the x 
intercept, make sure you pay attention to your signs, negative 16 divided by 4 is a negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Negative 4. All right, let me erase this so I can start over again. All right, and this time we're looking for the y-intercept. So if we're looking for the y-intercept, the x value is 0, and 4 times 0 is 0. So we're left with 2y is a negative 16. Divide both sides by 2. And y intercept is a negative 8. Ooh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Whew, does barely fits on there. All right, then connect them. Put arrows on the end. And a couple questions I like to ask now is, what kind of slant is this, or the slope? Is this a positive slope or a negative slope? So as we go up, we go to the left, up to the left. So this is a negative slant. Okay, a couple other things. If you're going to write this x-intercept, what ordered pair would this be? So this would be negative 4, 0. See all the y values, 0? And the y-intercept would be 0, negative 8. So see how the x value is 0. All right, then they want to just make sure that we know how to do some graphing. So we need to graph this ordered pair, and this ordered pair is x, y. Okay, so in y, remember this is your y-axis. So we go negative 7 for y, and your x is 2. All right, so in the direction of x, Let's go 2, and then down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we have this ordered pair right here is right 2, down 7. Okay, now they want us to use our slope, remember, which is rise over run. So rise, negative 2, and run, 5. Okay, so there's two different ways to do this. Some of you say because that's a negative 2. We're going to go down, and because that's a positive 5, we're going to go right. Let's see, I've got enough room here, so I'm going to go down 2 and write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then I kind of run off my room. So if I want to be a little more accurate, I always like to go up, and because this whole number is negative, I go left. And as an up and left, just the opposite of down and right. So I'm going to go up, two, left. One, two, three, four, five. Up, two, one, two, three, four, five. Now if we look at all of these points, they're in a nice straight line. All right, moving on to the new information from today is writing an equation in slope-intercept form that is perpendicular. So when they say perpendicular, the first thing I like to do is go find my slope of this line. So the slope of this line is a negative one half. And remember, to do perpendicular, we have to do two things. One, opposite sign. And two, we need to flip. Okay, so if this is negative, our new one's going to be positive, and then we need to flip it. So if this is 1 over 2, we're going to make it 2 over 1. And what is 2 divided by 1? It is 2. So this is the slope we are going to use. Okay, so now we're going to start by writing our equation in point-slope form. Okay, so point-slope form is going to be y. Now, what do we see here? This y value is a negative 9, so I'm going to write plus 9. Now, slope. Okay, wait a minute. I have two slopes here. I have this negative 1 half, and I have the 2. Remember, we need to use the slope of the one that's perpendicular. Do not use the negative 1 half because then that would be parallel. So we need to use the 2. And now it's going to be x, and what's our x value? Negative 4, so I'm going to write plus 4. Now, if they just to say leave it in point slope, we're done. But they don't. They say put it in slope intercept form. So we need to distribute. 
And when we distribute here, we take 2 times x, and we're going to take 2 times 4. Don't forget to do that second one. So 2 times 4 is 8. All right, now we need to move that 9. Are we going to add 9 or subtract 9? Remember, we need to do the opposite, so we're going to subtract 9. So we have y equals 2x minus 1. So in our perpendicular line, what is the y-intercept? The y-intercept is a negative 1, and our slope of the perpendicular line is 2. All right, write an equation of a line in slope-intercept form that's perpendicular, so we're going to do the same thing. Okay, so to write this, I can start with my point-slope form. Okay, so I can use this is x, this is y. So I have y, because this is a negative 1, I'm going to write plus 1. Now remember, what goes in here is my slope. And then I have x, because this says positive 20, I am going to write a negative 20. Now what slope goes in here? Do I put in the number 4? Do I put in the number 10? Or do I have to do something special because it's perpendicular? So because it's perpendicular, I need to take this number right here as my slope, and I need to do the opposite sign and flip it. So remember, this is 4 over 1. So when you flip it, it becomes 1 over 4. Now what else do we have to remember? Opposite sign. So we're going to put in negative 1 fourth. Okay, now they want slope intercept, so we now need to distribute. So I have negative 1 fourth x. Now, when we distribute, don't just write a negative 20. We have to take this negative times a negative is a positive, and 4 goes into 20 five times. And now to move the 1, we're going to subtract. So I get y equals negative 1 fourth x plus 4. So the y-intercept here is a 4, and my slope is a negative 1 fourth. All right, we have one more problem just to solidify it, make sure you guys know what you're doing. So again, it's in slope-intercept form. I'm going to start in point-slope form. So y, now because this is a 13, I'm going to write minus 13. Now what number is going to go in here for slope? 1 fourth, negative 9, negative 2, 13, or another number. So this slope right here is a 1 fourth. So I need to flip it so it would become 4 over 1. And because this is positive, this needs to be negative. So 4 divided by 1 is 4, so I put in a negative 4. And now I'm going to have x, and my x value here is a negative 2, so I am going to put in a positive 2. Okay, now that's your point-slope form, but we are not done because they want slope-intercept form. So we have y minus 13. Now we're doing the distributive property, so negative 4 times x and negative 4 times 2. So we have negative 8. All right, not quite done, so we have to move that 13, and because that's a negative 13, I'm going to add 13. So these are going to cancel out. y equals negative 4x, and 13 minus 8 is going to give me a 5. So the slope of my perpendicular line, the perpendicular line, is negative 4, and my y-intercept of the per perpendicular line is 5. All right, hope this helped with this lesson, and hope you have a wonderful day.